Remember that all gas and electrical installations should be done by a professional. This is how to install the extractor hood. Before installing the extractor hood, read the instructions carefully. If you have a built-in hood, the cabinet for the hood is mounted without a bottom piece. Follow the assembly instructions to make sure you get it right. Start by measuring the correct safety distance from the worktop to bottom of the hood. Use the template that comes with the assembly instructions and make the holes for correct placement. Install the top piece. Remove all plastic protection cover and fix the hood. There are different ways to fit the pipes. Have a look at the assembly instructions. Remember to stretch the pipe before cutting it to reduce noise and to give better capacity. It is wise to install the hood before the hob is in place. The hob could easily crack if you accidentally drop the extractor hood during installation. Now let's see how to install an oven and a microwave in a high cabinet. When installing an oven and microwave in a high cabinet, read the assembly instructions carefully. There are variations between different ovens and microwaves. Use the assembly instructions. Count to find the right hole to use for the reinforced shelf on which the oven stands. In this case, we're using the 12th hole. Measure carefully and check the assembly instructions to make sure that the shelf is at the right height. Install the shelf by screwing it to the rail. Fix the rail with the screws included in the oven package. Place the oven onto the shelf and use the screws to attach it to the cabinet. It's now time to install the microwave. Read the assembly instructions carefully to calculate where to place the shelves for your microwave. There can be variations between different models. Add the shelf above the oven. With some microwaves, you need to install spacers before placing them on the shelf. This is in order to get the right distance between the microwave and the oven. Place the microwave onto the shelf and use the screws to attach it to the cabinet. Now we'll see how to install an integrated dishwasher. Some countries' laws and regulations state that customers should use a protection shield for leakage. First, there are different ways of installing the dishwasher depending on your model. Read the assembly instructions carefully. Place the dishwasher under the worktop. You need to install the cabinet fronts before attaching it to the cabinets. Adjust the height of the legs at the front. And at the back. Make sure the dishwasher comes all the way up to the worktop. There are various solutions for how to fit water pipes and electrical cables. Here, we fit them into the cabinet next to the dishwasher. Time to put the fronts onto the machine. There are several ways to do this, depending on the dishwasher type and how many fronts will cover the machine. Here, we use a fully integrated dishwasher and two drawer fronts. First, connect the fronts. As in the assembly instructions, Ensure the stability and rigidity of the fronts by using both the pre-drilled holes and by making two to four more holes. There are enough screws for that in the package. Next, put on the sliding fittings. Mount the fronts on the dishwasher. Use a protection strip. Place this on the underside of the worktop. Finally, align the dishwasher at the front by adjusting the height of the legs. And attach the dishwasher to the adjoining cabinets. 
Before cutting holes in your pre-cut worktops for the sink and the hob, you may need to adjust the length of the worktops. By putting the worktop on the cabinet for the hob, you can mark the size of the cabinet. That way, you can find the centre of the cabinet in order to saw a hole for the hob. Remember which is the front of the worktop. Follow the assembly instructions and mark the correct measurements. Leave a distance of about 55mm on the back edge of the worktop between the wall and the cutout. Make sure you have space for whatever wall covering you are using. Seal the cut edge of the worktop with silicon. Put the hob into the hole and make sure that it clicks onto the worktop. The installation for a gas hob is different. Follow the assembly instructions carefully. If you have a door or drawer under the hob instead of an oven, the base cabinet needs a hob separator. The hob separator allows you to have a drawer immediately under the hob. Follow the same procedure for installing the sink. Read the assembly instructions carefully before you start. After customising the length of the worktop and indicating where the sink will sit in the worktop, put the worktop upside down and trace the outline of the sink on the surface. Draw the correct measurements for the cutout area and cut out the space. If the worktop is on top of a dishwasher, it's time to put on the protection strip. This prevents moisture from penetrating the worktop. Apply silicon on the edges. Place the clips and screws onto the sink. Put the sink into the worktop. Fasten the screws. And put the worktop in place. Here's how to install the water trap according to the assembly instructions. The water supply can come from the floor or the wall. Depending on the sink you have selected, you might need to drill a hole in the worktop to install the tap. Some sinks come with a pre-cut hole for this. It's easier for two people to install the tap, one to hold the tap and one to tighten it. Now we'll see how to install an integrated fridge and freezer in a high cabinet. A reinforced shelf is used when the freezer is shorter than the cabinet door. Add a protection cover on the bottom of the cabinet. Check the assembly instructions and measure where to place the upper shelf to which the fridge needs to be fastened. The ventilation grid prevents small things from falling behind the fridge and freezer. Time to get the cabinet doors in place. Fasten the 95 degree hinges. Plug in and place the fridge and freezer in the high cabinet. Fasten the appliance to the upper and bottom shelf and to the cabinet wall. Connect the appliance doors to the doors of the cabinet and finish with the protection cover. <laughs>